hello everyone so we will continue the topic header and item tables in this video also so in the previous video we understood the concept of header and item we took the examples of sap standard tables available for sap sd module we saw vbrk vbrp tables we saw vbak vbap tables we'll see few more things and then we will proceed further suppose for sap mm module again sap has major tables or i will say header and item tables we'll see these two these tables also for sap mm module we have mara and makt table this is a material data table and this is material description table this table stores the header information of the material and this table stores the item level description so i'll say a descriptions of the material will store into this particular table we'll see in the system suppose i will go for mara table it is a table which stores the header information of the materials i will go to contents of the table suppose i am passing a material number i will go for execute and you can see this table has the header information of the material material number date time who created this material so all the header information stores in this table now we will see the material description table makt now we will go to makt table i will go for the descript contents of the table i am passing the same material here also now if i will execute now you can see this material is available in two languages this de is german language and this en is english language so the multiple the description of the material in multiple languages or i will say multiple items of the same material is available in this table so this is the concept of header and item tables in sap similarly you can check the sap fi module tables also we have bkpf and bseg tables bkpf is our accounting document header table and bseg is our accounting document item table now we will proceed further in this topic now sap followed a standard practice in each and every module suppose in every module of sap we have always always three transaction codes we have other transaction codes also but so sap followed a common practice suppose if i want to create a sales order the transaction code is va01 if i want to change a sales order va02 is the transaction code if i want to display a sales order va03 is the transaction code now whenever you will create a sales order with the help of ga va01 the entries will store into these tables 
whenever you will update the sales order yes entries will update into these tables now this is a display you are not changing or creating so you can simply display a sales order whenever you will display a sales order yes data will come from these tables similar concept is here if i want to create a billing document i will use vf01 if i want to change a billing document i will use vf02 if i want to display a billing document i will use vf03 and whenever i will create a billing document entries will go to these tables in this table header details will go in this table item details will go whenever i will change a billing document again items will display in these tables and whenever i will display a sale billing document that data will come from these two tables similar concept is here whenever i will want to create a material i will use mm01 and data will update into this table whenever i will change a material data will update into these tables and similarly whenever i will display a material with the help of mm03 data will come from these tables and similarly is for sap fi module also for every module sap followed these practices suppose for sap fi module fb01 for create fb02 for change fb03 for accounting document display whenever you will create these table will store the entry whenever you will change that updated information will save into this table and similarly is for display whenever you want to display data will come from these tables yes now to make it more more precise at the last i will just take a example and i will create a material suppose i will create a material with the help of mm01 and i will show you that data will go to this header and item tables so that you can get the more more idea on the concept of header and item tables this part we will continue in the next video thank you